everyone. I'm Dr. Vaishnavi, your ENT faculty from the Prep Ladder platform. And with me, I have two young, amazing boys, Dr. Amit and Dr. Dinesh, who have done amazingly well for themselves in the INICT 2023 examination. So just to inform all of you, Dr. Amit has got a rank of 25 in the INICT of the November INICT and Dr. Dinesh has got a rank of 64. So before we begin the interview, a quick applause to both of them from my end. And uh, first, I'd like to introduce both of them and I'd like both of them to talk about themselves. So we'll begin with Dr. Amit. Uh, hello, Dr. Amit. Hello, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Yeah, so... Uh, um, yeah, I'd like to, you to introduce yourself to the viewers. Uh, myself, Dr. Amit Kamath. Uh, I'm from uh, Hubli, Karnataka. I did my MBBS from Grand Medical College in Sir JJ Group of Hospital, Mumbai. I'm of 2017 batch. Okay. And uh, Dr. Amit, uh, quickly to understand, uh, was this your first attempt into INICT or have you attempted the exam before? I had attempted the uh, July session of INICT in which I scored around 400 rank. I had also given NEET in the month of March, in which I scored around 8,000 rank. So this was my second INICT year. Okay, that is amazing that, uh, you know, you've made that progress from 8,000 to 400 and from 400 to, you know, 25. So it is actually from four digit to three and from there to two digit ranking is absolutely amazing rank. So many, many congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so much. So I'll next uh, welcome next uh, Dr. Dinesh, who's along with me in this. And uh, Dr. Dinesh, could you please introduce yourself to the entire reviewers here? Uh, I'm Dinesh uh, from Vellur. Uh, I did my UG in Madras Medical College. Uh, and uh, this is my uh, second attempt. I My first attempt was in uh, July. Uh, and uh, uh, in NEET, NEET UG, I got around uh, 5K rank. And in INSET, I got around uh, 6K rank. And uh, in uh, uh, I did my four months of preparation after my internship and uh, in this attempt, I got a uh, 64th rank. Okay, so I think your story is quite similar to Dr. Amit's and you also have progressed, uh, you know, in leaps and bounds from what you had appeared before to what rank you got now. So again, many congratulations to you on it. So uh, like we see here, both of you have made a significant progress. So I'd like to ask again, Dr. Amit, that, you know, what do you think was that important tool that changed your, uh, you know, success story? What changed you from 8,000 rank to 400 to 25? What was that one important thing that is something that is significant that made a change in your preparation strategy? I think one of the major factors was to concise your core resource. Uh, initially, before my uh, need, uh, when I was pre like not preparing, but I was to study from random sources. I should read topic from one source, then read the other topic from the other source. Then while revising, I should read that topic from some other source. So that really didn't help me. Uh, so, but later on, when I gave the exam, I got to know that now it's uh, it's not. Uh, if if you wanna get a good rank now, nah, you have to uh, limit your resources. So I just stick to the prep ladder, rapid revision videos. So whenever I has to, to solve questions and has to get some doubts, I has to go back, go back to those rapid revision uh, notes and just to get my concepts clear. Okay, so I think that is amazing that, you know, when you have so many sources of information available, uh, there is an obvious confusion amongst us that, you know, which source to follow, because I'm sure each and every source is a good source. But again, ultimately, how it is impacting your life makes a difference. So you need to have a concise information that your brain can actively recall during the examination. And I think you made that a valid point mm -hmm. that, you know, you need to concise your information, stick to that one source that, that is going to eventually help you better in the examination uh, what about you dr dinesh i'd like to know how did you make a progress in your journey what do you think is that factor that uh, led you to get this rank that you have today ma'am uh, i laid my foundation uh, in uh, second and third year itself uh, by participating in a lot of quizzes so i think that helped me a lot uh, even though my preparation time had been like only 4 months so um, and uh, my main uh, motivation was like to follow these four things my uh, consistency is the key like my uh, my senior uh, uh, they gave me some guidance uh, to follow this so uh, uh, consistency throughout these four months like i used to study uh, around like uh, 12 plus hours uh, per day and uh, once we are done with the first revision uh, i think we we need to solve more questions than to keep on uh, 
uh, revising again and again. We need to solve more things. That uh, that helped me a lot. And uh, as you said, ma'am, uh, we need to trust our sources. We need to stick to one uh, platform. And instead of uh, uh, shuffling between the sources, we need to trust our sources. And uh, we always need that senior who always guides us. That is also very important in our preparation strategy, ma'am. These four things uh, really helped me a lot. Yeah, that's amazing. Again, a very important factor is consistency amongst the things that you told. Yes, other things like having your senior, having your people around make a difference. But being consistent is something that will push you not just for exams, but for life. Because everything that you do in life requires you to be consistent. Otherwise, you're not going to see the results. So I think that's a very valid and important point. Uh, so before we progress any further, I just like to know, Dr. Dinesh, did you have a group of uh, friends who were studying along with you? Or was it just you who were who was preparing like you know isolate uh, yes ma'am yes ma'am i i had a friend ma'am i had a friend uh, and uh, i i need i want to mention her name uh, she is arushi and she helped me a, a lot with this uh, preparation ma'am without without my friends i don't think i would have achieved this rank ma'am so we used to discuss Sorry. We used to uh, we used to discuss uh, like uh, whichever things it is very volatile we used to discuss those things and uh, we used to share a uh, very tricky questions and we used to discuss every day, ma'am. So I think that helped me a lot. And we had made WhatsApp groups uh, for each and every subjects. And we used to uh, share like uh, uh, anatomy cadaver image images and then a few mnemonics. We used to share and discuss those things. So that's nice, very nice. What about you, Dr. Amit? Uh, yeah, yeah, ma'am. Even I had a group of four. Shout out to my boys, uh, Rishabh Patel, uh, Pranav Shukla, and Shiva Manchate. So even during my prof exams, you used to divide the topics and like each guy used to study a topic and teach us. Uh, in that way, the the stress on individual was uh, uh, reduced significantly, ma'am. So yeah, they were throughout my prof exams, ma'am. Uh, since from the start start of my MBBS till the end, ma'am. Uh, like uh, we studied together. I think uh, the reason why I got out this topic was, uh, you know, in these times when you're preparing for this examination, which is highly competitive, I'm sure that you both would have faced that times of stress, tension, emotional instability, mental instability, always questioning and self-doubting yourself, where will I go, what will happen? And I'm sure it is this group of friends and bunch of people around you who make you feel comfortable, who will make you feel that, you know, it's okay, I'm there in the same place, we'll do it together and we can conquer it together. So I just like the viewers to know that, you know, it's not just just always the resource it's not just always the subjects or it's not always the educators or it's not always one thing that will make change in your life it is also that uh, people around you your company that will always help you to reach or you know to push yourself to that destination that you want to go to so with this uh, i have understood quite a bit of both of you now i'd like to know you know what uh, subjects Subjects did you use uh, dr dinesh from prep ladder like did you depend for all 19 subjects from prep ladder uh, ma'am, I uh, I preferred it for uh, community medicine, and mostly I gave GTs. Uh, so compared to other platforms, uh, uh, prepladder GTs were more of a clinical, and uh, since it was lengthy and it was like main exam, so we need to. I I learned to manage time uh, using uh, uh, prepladder GTs, ma'am. Okay, and Dr. Amit, did you use prepladders? Uh, rap yeah, ma'am. I use Preplad as my main source, ma'am, for most of the subjects except for biochemistry and microbiology. Which I used to, I used to use Preplad, ma'am, but later on I shifted to first aid because that I felt was more concise. But for uh, majority of the topics, I use Preplad rapid revision videos and notes. Did you also solve GTs from Preplad? Yeah, yeah, I did give, I did give Preplad GTs, ma'am. I did, uh, did give Preplad GTs. Initially, uh, I used to score like not that good. My score was in the range of around 140, 150. But uh, uh, during my like last two, three months of my preparation, I think I increased my score uh, to around 160, 170. Okay, so uh, I just like to know one more thing from you, Dr. Amit, that, you know, why do you think it is important to appear for GTs? Because, uh, you know, this is a question that is going back and forth among students that should I give GTs and review it or should I not? Because, of course, we as educators give our points and our thoughts, but I'd like to know from you both that, you know, is it important? And if it is important, uh, why so? Yes, ma'am, 100% uh, giving, giving GTs and analyzing the GTs. Uh, both of uh, both of them are very very important because uh, and give, giving it in in an exam simulated environment is also helpful. There are around like two hundred questions to be solved in 180, 180 minutes. Even irrespective of the amount of knowledge you have, ma'am, it's not possible uh, uh, to uh, uh, solve it 
within time un- until and unless you give the gts man so i think you'll learn the time management if you get like two three questions if not getting it on prod so it's uh, helpful ki you have given the previous gts and you know what to do then this really did help me in my exam man giving gts okay, so and doctor, analyzing them uh, so dr dinesh i think uh, gts are important and you told me that you took up the gts from prep ladder so i'd like to yes, know ma'am. that did you use the analytics section that the prep ladder gives you after you appear for the gt you know how was your scoring in which subject your week in which subject was strong did you use that yes ma'am like uh, uh, giving gt is very important uh, by the same, in the same way reviewing gt is also very important so we need to find uh, our weak subjects and uh, make it into strong ones ma'am so that uh, uh, reviewing part is very important ma'am okay and uh, were the questions uh, very hard in the gts or were they simulated more or less to the same in the final examination sort of questions uh prep ladder gts were relatively on a tougher side when compared to main gts ma'am so but did that help you in uh, you know yeah. there for yes, the ma'am. yes ma'am definitely when we are getting like around 150 correct and uh, we'll still try uh, try to read more and uh, push our uh, scores higher ma'am so i think uh, it did help me and what about you dr amit yeah ma'am i use the uh, the analytical uh, section of the, your, your, the prep ladder while giving gts ma'am in this way i got to know about my weaker subjects i focus more on my weaker subjects i prioritize my weaker subjects more than I, my stronger subjects were like pathology and medicine like i used to just read it maybe once in a while brushing up my concept but my weaker subjects like ophthal psm like uh, where, where i used to score quite less during my initial days of my preparation i work more on that so in that way i was able to increase the scores ma'am. okay and uh, did you make this did you make utilization of the custom modules uh, which are there in the app yeah yeah ma'am uh, the, solving the whole cube bank is a very cumbersome lengthy process ma'am and you have to prioritize your topics you have to uh, just do the selected topics because your time as well as your energy is quite limited so whenever i used to read a topic i used to select a question uh, uh, make a custom module and solve only those topics and if i had any doubts as to go back to my prep ladder core rapid revision uh, resource ma'am as to get the, those concepts clear okay. and dr dinesh uh, did you attempt uh, i mean i would like to know how many questions did you attempt in your final exam uh, ma'am i attempted 197 ma'am i was uh, usually an aggressive uh, approach in uh, in my gts and as well as uh, i followed it the same in main exam also and in the final exam because this time the pattern was different whether it given four sets do you think it made a big difference to you or because you were used to gts giving i mean giving the gts in the prep ladder you were already toned for it ma'am i had a difficulty in time management ma'am so this 50 50 question splitting up was i used it for my advantage so it was it was actually a good thing for me ma'am okay and what about you dr amit Ma'am, this was like a shocker for me. That's why, for exam, did they change the pattern? I was uh, like, I, I adjusted to the previous pattern where I used to solve two uh, hundred questions in one uh, sixty minutes, and I used to keep those twenty last twenty minutes for reviewing the whole whole the paper. But uh, uh, however, like I thought, this this is for everyone, not not just for me, now. So I thought it will be fine. So I had a bit of problem managing the time in my first and second set of my exam, but thereafter I I was adjusted to it. okay and uh, do you think uh, these treasures which is there you know there are small things yeah. that actually give you that kick in your brain once in a while so did you make utilization of these yeah ma'am whenever uh, i used to go through treasures regularly ma'am which were treasure i felt difficult like i was not strong enough so i used to bookmark those treasures and i used to regularly go through those treasures ma'am especially after after complete uh, completing my day schedule like after i'm just going to the sleep I, i was when i was going to the sleep i used to go through those treasures man so that really did help me did help me man. especially all those volatile topics which has to be memorized and all i used to bookmark those man uh, dr dinesh uh, i'd like to know from you like you know how many hours per day do you did you dedicate because you made both of you made a huge jump right in your rank so i'm sure that you would have spent a lot of time with a lot of dedication and efforts would have gone in so can you elaborate your process dr dinesh and then we'll go to dr amit as well ma'am uh, i used to uh, mainly study in the night so i used to start my day around 11 or 12 o'clock in the morning and uh, i used to study till 4 a.m in the morning so effectively i used to study 12 plus hours from the day one 
till before the exam, I used to study 12 plus hours. So I think that made a huge impact in my sports. And what was uh, your, uh, you know, to, what would you do to just relax yourself? What was your break time meant for? Uh, break time, I used to go to Instagram. And scroll. And through. I used to talk with my parents. Uh, for the rest of my That's amazing. And what about you, Dr. Amit? How was your schedule like? Uh, my schedule was not that not that hectic. Like uh, during my initial preparation phase and after after my NICT, I used to study like five six hours a day. But later on, after in the month of September October, I just increased it back to eight or ten hours max. That's it. Then during my free time, I used to hit the gym not frequently, but maybe once or twice in a week. I used to play any sport, and oh. just uh, sometimes I just prefer to sit alone and do nothing. Okay, it's wonderful to see how two boys have got similar lines, had similar journey, but yet quite different from one another. So this has been amazing talking to both of you. But before we end the session quickly, I'd like to know that do you want to thank any of your friends, your parents, your educators, your mentors? You have all the time right now to give all of them a shout out and uh, thank them. And of course, you should be thankful to yourself because I'm sure you're the heroes of your life and you have put in the best to get the rank that you have got today. But uh, I'd like you to take the stage and platform now to thank the people that you want to. Yes, Dr. Amit. Uh, ma'am, I really want to thank my parents, ma'am. Uh, they have been my support system. They have helped me uh, financially as well. <laughs> and as also, I want to I also want to thank my boys, uh, the group, of the, we had a group of four, right? So, shout out to them. They, had, they have been a really good friend. I, I'll remember those times in my uh, the days of residency. And obviously, the Preplata fac faculty, which has helped me throughout the MBBS phase. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Any specific educator that you'd like to uh, thank from the platform? Because you've majorly used Preplata, right? Yeah, yeah, I really like to thank uh, Dr. Deepak Mawa, sir. He has been a, a fantastic teacher. The way he solved questions that instilled a cri analytic, a critical thinking in me in solving questions. I really want to th thank him. It's amazing. He's an amazing teacher. And uh, of course, I was also his student. So I can never be, you know, I can never feel more than anything that you felt. And I, I'll always be thankful for the rest of my life to him as well. Uh, yeah, ma'am. Every head must bow down. Every tongue must confess he is the greatest medicine professor yeah, of all. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I mean, there is a saying, God of medicine is Dr. Deepak Manan. Yeah. I mean, whatever it is said and done. I completely agree. I completely agree with that. Completely agree. Yeah. So what about you, Dr. Dinesh? Whom would you like to thank? Um, definitely, I would like to thank my parents, ma'am. Yes. Uh, it, it, it was as difficult as me for them also, ma'am. And then I would like to mention two people here, ma'am. Uh, one, my senior, uh, Abdul Shahrukh, and he was really helpful throughout the preparation from day one, ma'am. And my friend, Arush Agarwal, from the day one, they both were very helpful in the preparation. Okay, any specific educator that you'd like to thank from Prep Ladder who helped you in your journey? Uh, yes, ma'am. As you said, uh, Deepak Maro, sir, and Vivek Jain, sir, for okay. SPM. Okay, so that's amazing. Uh, it was wonderful to have you both guys here and uh, it was uh, wonderful to understand insights from both of you. And just to summarize uh, what these both boys told is uh, first, you have to be consistent. Number two, use a source that you can trust on. It could be any, but stick to one resource that will help you in a long way. Number three, give GTs and practice as much as you can. And uh, number four, uh, just don't... Uh, be in that phase of preparation all the time. Take breaks, have friends around you who will de-stress you in between. So with this, I'll take a leave from both of you. Thank you for your time. And uh, it was wonderful to have a talk with both of you and wishing you both uh, the amazing future that you can have. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.